722 here, Big 550 KTRS. This is one of the more bizarre stories here in St. Louis. Um, it's being promoted by the uh, governor's task force to build a stadium for the Rams and double as an MLS stadium. And so what are the odds of having an MLS team? I'm assuming, Andy Strickland, you asked that of our next guest? Yeah, I mean, we talked about that. I mean, listen, this was a fact-finding mission mm-hmm. for MLS Commissioner Don Garber. He met with the Governor Jay uh, Nixon. He yes. met with the mayor of St. Louis and also Dave Peacock during his visit here to St. Louis. All right, so here's a quick interview Andy Strickland had with the MLS Commissioner Don Garber. All right, first off, uh, how would you describe your stay in St. Louis thus far? Oh, it's been uh, very productive and uh, enlightening. So uh, the, the city loves the sport and it's got a deep history uh, and uh, we're just very excited. Uh, great meetings with the uh, governor and the mayor, a bunch of city leaders and spent it with Dan Flynn, the CEO of U.S. Soccer, who's a St. Louis guy and a terrific player at SLU. So it's just a good day. What were you hoping to accomplish during your stay here? You know, we accomplished everything we did hope, that there's uh, real interest in, in Major League Soccer uh, and uh, that, that uh, uh, came through in every meeting that we've had. Why isn't Major League Soccer here in St. Louis, if you were to put your finger on it? The timing just hasn't been right, and, you know, it's still only a 20-year-old league, and uh, life's a long time. You know, this league's going to be around for generations, and uh, the most important thing is to get it right and to wait until the timing is right. You know, I'm not sure this is an opportunity for tomorrow, but it's certainly sometime soon after that, And, uh, and, and ultimately, if we stick to our knitting, we'll get it done. If you get the new stadium that they're trying to build downtown, obviously, for the National Football League, and you get ownership. Is that a slam dunk? Is that enough to bring a team here? You know, I think nothing is a slam dunk in life, right? So, And it's <laughs> certainly not in pro sports. But uh, we're hopeful they get the stadium project done. The, you know, As a guy who worked at the NFL for almost 20 years, I'm hopeful they could achieve their goals. And if those goals could also satisfy the goals of MLS, that's great for everybody. Would you be okay with playing in a football stadium? You know, listen, we, we're, we have been okay, and we're playing in a couple of football stadiums. It's not optimum for us. It's not the ideal uh, scenario, but, uh, you know, this is the first meeting we've had, and right now that's uh, the opportunity that uh, they're looking at, and uh, it's certainly intriguing. How is St. Louis viewed as a soccer market? Massive. Just deep history from Yogi, Yogi Berra, the original, uh, to the to the mayor, you know, who played very competitively. Uh, there's a lot of history there, and you sit and have lunch with a bunch of leaders and talk about the details of MLS. It's uh, it's heartwarming. Ten seconds. I know you said you don't have, you don't have a timeline, no, but, really don't. but when could this happen? You know, it, it's certainly post 2020. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you very much. it. <laughs> it, it. Now look, I again, again, I I the man's a nice enough man. He comes the 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 NF the NFL stadium task force brings him into town. They just happen to bring him in town on these days. If you were really trying to sell St. Louis as a soccer market, why wouldn't you bring them in when the U.S. Women's World Cup team was having a friendly a couple of weeks ago, where they broke a record for the most people to watch a women's soccer game? Why would you bring them in on a Tuesday in May when there's nothing going on? They're not even in town to see a St. Louis FC game, which is a which is a, which is a professional soccer team here in town. Yeah, no, these are great <laughs> questions. You know, the whole thing is uh, it's a little confusing. Listen, we don't need to be told, to be honest with you, that St. Louis is a great soccer market and we have a strong soccer community. I think most people realize that. But in order to get an MLS team, you're going to have to have a couple of things. One is a stadium. They don't even have a secondary venue to play in if they were to play while one is being built, and they don't have ownership. Now, he does believe there are individuals in the community who would step up to become owners of an MLS team. It's a thriving league. I mean, hey, listen, they get a lot of fans in other markets. I just don't know why it's taken this long for St. Louis to get one and what the future holds because, as he said, they're going to expand to 24 teams. That's going to happen around 2018, and the next round of expansion won't take place probably until after so, 2020. So, so we're looking way down the road here. So, so, so don't, even, don't even think about an about an MLS soccer team till 2020 but by golly let me come in on a Tuesday in May and it just so happens to coincide with the same day 
as the owners are going to meet in San Francisco, basically saying, St. Louis, you're SOL, we're moving to L.A. Although 2020, I think that is the projected date that the football stadium gets completed too, <laughs> correct? Right? If that ever gets done? I mean, yeah. I, I, I know, I know they have no cards. Mm-hmm. And they, I, you got to hand them, you got to give it to them for, for creating this diversionary story or this secondary timeline. Like St. Louis is, is all ready to go, shovel ready for a new stadium. All we need is some owner to sort of jump in. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just lipstick on a pig. Well, let me just say this. I'm not so sure St. Louis is closer today than they were yesterday. A lot of things need to be accomplished to get a team here. I do think at the end of the day, at some time, some point in time down the road, as he said, life is a long time, you're going to see MLS soccer here in St. Louis. Oh, when that absolutely. happens, who I, knows? I, hey, you know what? I, there, this isn't to poo-poo any. I think St. Louis would actually support an MLS team very well. Mm-hmm. Um, this isn't to, to disparage that at all. And I'm not a soccer guy. Yeah. This is to say this is a smokescreen to hide the fact that the Rams are basically closing up shop and c- reporting to the NFL today that their stadium is um, is not acceptable yeah. and that we need to move to Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. And so to, to get our minds off of that, hey, how about this nice idea that if you build a stadium – Wow, not only will we have the Rams there, but we very real could have an MLS team. They would drop the curtain, and all of a sudden, the football field will become an I mean, MLS stadium with about 38,000 seats. This is like, this is like um, you know, somebody holding a news conference and saying, you know, we're going to build the world's largest, uh, world's largest uh, building right here in, in St. Louis. When? <laughs> Anytime after 2024. <laughs> we just don't know. We're just, you know, there's lots of things in place. But until then, by golly, we, we have plan. I mean, it, it, St. Louis loves skyscrapers, and yeah. we're, we're getting, you know, if somebody ever wanted to build one, we certainly would let them build one. Let me say that the, 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 the message yesterday was that it was confirmed for Don Garber that St. Louis is a, as he said, massive soccer market. Market right. with people who have a long historic passion right. for the game. I'm not so sure he needed to come in yesterday to determine that. So though. we don't have a stadium for a team, we don't have an owner for a team, and we don't and it's not currently this decade. Mm-hmm. But if we were to get a stadium and if we were to get an owner, and if it was ten years from now, by golly, St. Louis, you got a shot. Yeah, I'm trying to remain <laughs> positive here. I thought it was a It's like a girl coming uh, up to you saying uh, if you're a millionaire and you if you're a millionaire and you look like Tom Brady Maybe I'll date yeah. you. I think it was a well orchestrated plan by Jim Woodcock to bring him in and he, to make he's doing him, everything he and, can and to make him available. And Jim Woodcock's been part of this effort to bring MLS right. soccer here for it's a years. it's a good it's a good try. But but the truth is, and and we have to deal in reality. You know, mm-hmm. PR people deal in spin. We deal in reality, and the reality is that what Martin Kilcoin's talking about is that um, you've got the Oakland Raiders owner saying under no circumstances. The Raiders going to move to St. Louis. It's mm-hmm. preposterous. Right. And um, Kevin Demoff is going to report to the league today, basically, from all accounts, that um, he, they can't stay in St. Louis. So that's the story. All right. Uh, now, the other story is, Do you? when was the last time you used a book? And if the last time you used a book was to prop open a window, it's time to call Window World. <laughs> because Window World, the windows stay open. And as a matter of fact, they tilt in so you can clean them. Matter of fact, Window World windows are so great, they come with a good housekeeping seal of approval. They also come with uh, J.D. Power & Associates, highest ranking in customer satisfaction. They also come with 0% financing for 15 months. The windows, well, they'll come to you for $189 per window. Window World is a great company. The guys and gals at Window World uh, are committed not only to Window World, but they're committed to the community. And isn't it nice to support a company that is committed to uh, St. Louis. Window World does it all sorts of ways. They live here. They play here. They raise money for charity here. And, in fact, they just got finished putting the finishing touches on a fantastic charity event uh, for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Window World Windows, 314-993-1800. 314-993-1800. 40,000 homes in the St. Louis metropolitan area have window have some type of Window World product in their home. That is a record to be proud of. Window World or windowworld.com.
Hi, this is Jeff Lapidus, the Retirement Coach.